our owners are inve investing $430 million of our own money. Um, so I, I heard the, the comment respectfully about corporate welfare. I just want to make it clear, no one's given us any corporate welfare to build our stadium. We're going to spend $250 million of our own money. No one's given us corporate welfare on that franchise fee, $150 million private dollars. And no one uh, was giving us corporate welfare when we spend $30 million to build the training facility. Uh, I do understand that there is a tax increase involved, uh, but it's not uh, respectfully um, local taxpayer dollars. I think the legislators and their wisdom uh, set it up so that visitors would be paying this and the people that are mostly most directly affected are the hotels because that higher tax might drive people to stay at other hotels, of course. And yet the hoteliers, uh, you've heard from them, uh, they are supportive uh, because they see growth. Uh, who would accept this deal? It was asked. Well, I promise you this. All the other counties around Claremont County wanted our $30 million training facility. They all did. And they all were offering these kinds of incentives very clearly. In some cases, more than these incentives because they've invested in tourism. They've invested in these kinds of attractions to draw growth. And we chose Claremont County. We felt that with us putting out $430 million of private money in our third year of operation, uh, we needed these incentives to make this work for, for FC Cincinnati. Using the incentives that were, are allowed by law and have been approved by the Ohio General Assembly. Uh, we think that uh, the reason people wanted our $30 million investment is because it would, there'd be growth generated leveraging this 430 million. And it really is the whole 430 because it's not a training facility all by itself. It's that there's an MLS franchise. So there's this MLS stadium that's being privately funded uh, and, and that the result would be to generate uh, growth. Um, I want to offer, we made the agreement with the schools to make sure the schools came out ahead. Uh, that was really important to us, and, and, and we made sure that that would happen. And in the schools agreement, I want to share that there is language that each year we will work out some use of the facility through the schools. Uh, we'll have a turf field, we'll obviously have some grass fields, uh, and so there's certainly going to be an opportunity for use uh, with, with citizens through our partnership uh, with the Milford schools. Uh, so. Um, at the end of the day, we're excited to get this underway. We're going to have a team playing in less than 30 weeks. We've got to get this facility under construction. Uh, we've relied on the good faith work of all the uh, attorneys and administrators and mayors and others who have been involved in this, and our hope is that we can proceed uh, with uh, this exciting project. Again, we're three years in, in two years. No one would have expected this, uh, and it's through divine providence that we're here. Uh, and we certainly look forward to a, a long tenure here working with you. Thank you.